This is the Erling Haaland effect in Man City. He wins the Premier yeah. League, minimal expectations done. He wins the Champions League. He, he breaks the record in the Premier League top goal scorers. He's the top goal scorer too of the Champions League. Yeah. This is the confirmation to the world that Erling Haaland is a Ballon d'Or worthy winner. This is it. This is it. It's going to be remembered because of that. And Man City, after spending close to two billion or two billion each, but they win a Champions yeah. League title, the first in their history, winning it a European treble, the first time since 1999. Sir Alex Ferguson yep. passing the torch to Pep Guardiola. Oh. To Pep Guardiola. Oh uh, yeah. Well, there is so 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 much bluster out there uh, about people trying to compare those two treble winning sides. Uh, and it, it, it is a fun argument that I think I, I will ask you point blank in the near future. Uh, but I want to start with Erling Haaland because you mentioned him and yes. I, I'm going to do you one better. You said he is contending. I think Erling Haaland should be the Ballon d'Or winner. Okay. You, you break records, you break records, you set new landscapes. Uh, he might've literally just had the best I don't know, the best career highlight he is ever going to have. No. Because I just can't I, I can't see Norway. I, I okay. There's a lot to, to, to pick apart here. But listen, he won everything mm -hmm. coming in in his first season. He set <laughs> Premier League records in goal scoring. Yep. He even ended the year. He did all this before ending the year on a five game goalless streak. Okay, he actually has a small little barren strip of land uh, within his whatever, his file uh, that says no goals over the last five games. And, you know, he still played a part, obviously, creating a lot of the space uh, for his his teammates to have the effect. I... But when it comes down to it, mm -hmm. what Erling Holland did in his first season in England I don't know how you beat it, one. And two, if you are beating it in the future, you're beating yourself. He's good you're beating goals. yourself. He's good I, goals. I know. And, and that's that, that's like the only metric, right? Because he's already won um, what Manchester City came here to win. And I'm going to extend this courtesy uh, to Jack Grealish as well. Anyone saying Jack Grealish is a flop from here on out can can turn around and leave. <laughs> because Jack Grealish is not a flop. Why? They spent 100 million. Sure, he grew into his game. He played a massive part for them this season. And the price tag, it don't matter anymore. Jack Grealish is a Champions League winner. Jack Grealish is a treble winner. And Jack Grealish, um, you know, deserves the probably week, two week long party he's going to have in the very near future. Um, <laughs> All of it's, them. It, All of them. Yeah. Even Guardiola should be in the party having oh, yeah, his yeah, wine yeah, yeah. as a master. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely. Days. Mentioning Hollands, because this is the big topic. Mm -hmm. I completely agree mm -hmm. with you, Bretson. And like if you believe Erling Haaland's going to win the Ballon d'Or, <laughs> let's see if the, let's see if you break the likes. Yeah. Because if you do, yeah. we understand that the community wants Erling Haaland to win. But I want to say this. He at least is going to mm -hmm. win this statement for me. Erling Haaland... His, this season, Erling Haaland has had the best debut season I've ever seen in the Premier League. He won the best nice player be. of the season in the mm -hmm. Prem. He breaks the record in the Premier League, scores 52 goals in the meantime. Nine assists. He even assists this man. Yeah. And the European treble is done. Erling Haaland is greatness in action. And I agree with you. Erling Haaland will improve because he's got Pep Guardiola with him. Erling Fair Haaland enough. was... World class at Dortmund, but now he's sharpened himself up. Uh, he's sharpened himself yeah. up. He's mentally oh, yeah. stronger. He's ready for these battles more. And Erling Haaland knows that Real Madrid is developing and improving while we talk. That is the big enemy. If Mbappe goes to Real, because they cannot have Haaland and Mbappe at the same time. Two big, no, big contracts, in my opinion. And Vinicius Jr. Yeah. there, too, involved in all this. So, Haaland, yeah. he's got to develop this team. And we got it. so much to talk. But greatness happened. Greatness happened. Greatness and did happen. And I'm going to say yeah. another thing, too. Rodri, mm -hmm. no doubt, mm -hmm. is the best CDM in the world right now. There's no number Ooh. you can pay right now for Man City to let the best CDM in the world leave. Definitely with Pep yeah. Guardiola. He understands him. And that match-winning goal and man-of-the-match game 
He was one. He's yeah. the, he was the best. Next to Stones too. Stones unbelievable with that new position. But Rodri, uh, world class. World class. Yeah. The, the double the double pivot that I never knew that I wanted or needed, <laughs> which was Rodri and John Stones. Uh, but listen, Rodri, yeah, I, um, that believe it or not, that space, that space that opened up, that allowed Rodri to just curl it around Kalinoglu and I forget who the other defender was, um, that was created by Erling Holland, right? Um, and, and you mentioned Holland has been getting smarter, right? Holland has been, you know, stepping up his game, and it doesn't just involve those goal involvements, right? It doesn't just involve 60-plus goal involvements. He's smarter with his movement. Uh, he, even in the semifinal, was not the semifinal second leg. He was not Mr., you know, take the game by the scruff of the neck. He was a role player, essentially. He was almost like a decoy in some respects, and it worked out. And, and Rodri... To be able to hit that ball and and do what he does, um, I, I agree. He's he's an elite DM. Is he the best in the world? Based on consistency, <laughs> based on versatility, based on how much Pep Guardiola puts on his shoulders and how easily it seems he takes it, mm -hmm. I think I am in full agreement with you that uh, Rodri is the best DM on the on the planet. But I I just I I kind of love <clears throat> I I actually do I love that it was Rodri. That was yeah. the decider in this game, okay? Um, Do you think Erling Haaland is the best striker in the world right now? Uh, yeah, he has to be. I mean, based on just sheer volume, absolutely. I, I, don't, I don't know. This is one of those things where statistics tell just a massive, massive story. And I don't really care. If, if Erling Haaland only hit for 30 goals this season, maybe we'd have a conversation about this best striker in the world. The man hit 60. Okay, 60 goal involvements. He had 52 right. and 52 so far since joining Sir City. He's got nine assists to boot, okay? this he, he just is so dominant in this particular setup right now um, that, yeah, he's the best striker in the world. He is, easily. <laughs> and anyone that thinks otherwise, I don't know what you're watching so at this moment in time. The best striker uh, in the world, Erling Haaland. Ballon d'Or winner. Yeah. 52 goals scored, top goal scorer in the Champions League. Record breaker yeah. in the Premier League. Wins the European treble for Man City in his first season. History has been made. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that we're stating this. But we got to give it. I, I, I want to give. I want to give a, a special yeah. shout <laughs> to Guardiola. Guardiola sure. made the Man City culture be a winning culture. Winning culture. Pep Guardiola has won five Premier Leagues. He's won a Champions League already. And 35 trophies in his career. He's going to be the greatest manager of all time when he retires. Yeah. If he keeps and, it and up, he's, definitely. If he keeps it up. And for the... Yeah, and, and you can you can preface it with uh, best all time of the modern era. If you don't want to get into the whole debate about Sir Alex versus Pep Guardiola. But Pep Guardiola, I think you might have just said this, is now the only manager in history to hit for a treble, to win a treble with two separate clubs. Right, only manager in history. That, in and of itself, uh, tells you a whole bunch. And you can argue all you want about the blueprint of the clubs that he got. You know, Barcelona was not some struggling team when he came in. Bayern Munich was not some struggling team when he came in, and nor was nor was Manchester City. But in the end, he, as you mentioned, he built this. He built the blueprint. He brought in the signings. I don't care if he spent a billion plus, he's actually gotten something out of it versus the other clubs that right now are trying to keep up in the uh, football transfer arms race that have gotten next to nothing out of it. So Pep Guardiola, when it comes to return for amount spent uh, and this modern day football manager that's kind of expected to be a master of all traits, in including, you know, motivationally and mental healthy and all that stuff that you're expected to pick up. Yeah, Pep Guardiola is uh, definitely up there. I, I, it's, it's just, it's amazing to me. And he's got the, the, the purest understanding of the culture that he built at Manchester City is what Rod Rees said at the end of the game when he was interviewed. It was, this is for the guys who set the stage before us. This is for Fernandinho. This is for Sergio Aguero. This, this is for the guys that could not last, <laughs> not last year, but could not get this over the hump because it was not our time and and this this was their time and this was one of the most dominant um seasons of football i have seen from a club oh. uh regardless of money spent oh 
I, so. I, I, you, well, what you said, it's unbelievable. Aguero, one year after his retirement, yeah. he sees Argentina yeah. win the World Cup with Lionel Messi Oof. being the star, star of the tournament. And he sees Man City win the Champions League with Erling Haaland. <laughs> Erling Haaland oh. being the star, the striker. Ay, Aguero, ay, Aguero. Definitely a legend, though. And I love to see him involved in all the party. But the Absolutely. last point with Guardiola, it's Guardiola yep. has won three La Ligas. He's won three Bundesligas. He's won three yep. Champions Leagues. Five Premier Leagues. Like, some people would just be happy with, like, two, two of these titles. Guardiola Not is that. a master of this game. And he won't stop now. He won't stop now. That's the scary part. Real Madrid yeah. knows that they have to sign players because Pep Guardiola is with all this, all these options at Man City. And only yeah. Pep Guardiola would do what they, he did with John Stones. John Stones has, like, yeah. John Stones is the luckiest player to have the manager like Pep Guardiola to put him in <laughs> midfield. Like, Southgate must be thinking now. I got to play him in yeah. midfield. I got to play yeah. him in midfield. And the English um, players with Guardiola making history with Man City. You got an English core with Grealish, Foden, Rico mm -hmm. Lewis, the youngest Englishman to win the Champions League. 18 years old, 201 days. You got Cole Palmer yeah. even there. You got Kyle Walker, Stones. You got yeah. So you got a core and you got a future. Man City yeah. history has been made. And yes, they bought their way there. But they bought the right way with Pep Guardiola. Yeah, so well, I can buying your that. buying your way there seems to be the modern day for, football approach, uh, and that's why it, 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 there, there's a myth out there. Okay, there's a myth out there, Alex, that mm. uh, that Manchester United, on the backs of the class of 1992 in their academy, right, won that treble. Okay, and let's be honest, it was actually Molda striker. Old Gunnar Solskjaer that won that treble for them in the 93rd oh, minute. Okay. It was Teddy Sheringham who was not Manchester born. Okay, he was English, but he was not Manchester born that ended up winning that treble for them uh, in 1999. So, uh, and and there's this myth that Manchester United back in 1999. This is when I was becoming a a just obsessed uh, as an American that couldn't get all the nuggets and all the details of things except through like world soccer i mean there was really no internet throwing things out there these days they spent if you inflation adjust what they spent on yopstam at center back if you uh, adjust what they spent on andy cole dwight york some of the other ones that they used to fill out their core manchester united spent a pretty penny does it come close to the billion dollars plus that uh, that City spent? No. No, probably not. <laughs> but to say that they did not spend is a little bit naive, okay? I, th I think um, you say but more yeah. of the influence. They had more of an influence on in the academy, and I think that's that's facts. I think it it is it is Neville, but Skulls. Yeah, I I get it. They were all they were all like one club, one but, club wonders. But um, I gotta give it to Pep Guardiola with the amount of youth. That is winning all these yeah. trophies too. Man True. City have a future with Rico Lewis, Foden, Julian Alvarez. Holland is 22. Imagine if they managed to convince him in the next four or five years that the team to win the Champions League back to back to back every time the favorite is Man City. Why would Erling Haaland yeah. leave so if he's the most talked player in the world? Like Erling Haaland, if he wins the Ballon d'Or this season, mm. he's the first player to do so since Christian Ronaldo. Imagine if he does back-to-back -back Ballon d'Ors with Champions League 2 at Man City, with Pep Guardiola. Yeah. Like, Guardiola would be admitting that he's the greatest player that he's coached since Messi. Since Messi. Yeah. That's the mind. Yeah. That's the mind of Erling Haaland. Unbelievable, yeah. Breton. Unbelievable. And, I just... and you, 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 yeah. you also mentioned Julian Alvarez here exactly. because at, at, at <laughs> some point, I don't necessarily see if Haaland's still there, how you get Julian Alvarez on the pitch. Mm. Uh, as as frequently as he would like to, except with fixture congestion. We all know that for probably for the foreseeable future, Manchester City is going to be playing easily 60-plus fixtures a year. Yeah. So there's plenty of time. But Julian Alvarez, within the last six months, it's it's a similar conversation to Erling Holland. Uh, Julian Alvarez can improve his own, his own statistics, but in terms of what this kid, this 23-year-old, has won in just the last six-plus months... 
He's the first player in footballing history to win a treble and a World Cup Julian in one Alvarez. season. Oh. Julian Alvarez. That is correct. And he is also one of esteemed company next to Franz Beckenbauer, next to Roberto Carlos, next to Gert Müller. He is one of esteemed company if, if all you do is water it down to winning a Champions League and a World Cup in the same year. Only he ten. is one of like 15 ten. or so. So. Ten. Exactly ten. So it's it's unbelievable the the plaudits, mm -hmm. and that's why like part of me goes for Holland for uh for Julian Alvarez. Do you think some of the, do you think they expected this precipice to be reached? This is like getting you you expect I don't know two days or I'm sorry you expect a week to get to the top of Mount Everest and you wind up getting there in a day and down without getting frostbite of some some uh... respect. Like where do you go from here? Where do Guardiola you go from here for Erling Holland? I then. think Guardiola so. expected this because Guardiola made the decision last summer of letting go Gabriel Jesus for 50 million, Zinchenko, yeah. and Cancelo in yeah. January. He knows clearly what he needed to win the Champions League, and he, that's what he needed, Alvarez and Holland in his team. And Alvarez but, uh, offers that versatility that he can play striker, yeah. he can play behind the striker, he can play yeah. even on the wing if it's needed. But Alvarez, yeah. off the bench, adds so much value that, yes, he's one of the best substitutes that any team in the world can have. That is fucked. I completely agree with you. It, and it's the first it, season. It, it, it's the first season. It, it, was not, it was not even 18 months ago, if that, you know, that we were watching Enzo Fernandez and Julian Alvarez in Marcelo Gallardo's River Plot side. And we were ba basically both of us saying, I don't know if we expected them to, to, to go this high this quick. Um, but, but my goodness, you and I saw something special. Um, but uh, for them to come in, and that's the thing. It's like you mentioned Pep Guardiola definitely having the plan in place. Mm -hmm. But do, do we actually think that Pep Guardiola thought that within one season he was going to get them on a click? Okay, and, and hindsight is twenty twenty. He might have convinced himself that he did, but I think that that's BS because there is no way that he didn't at least, I don't know, budget in one year where it was going to be a kind of a transition period. For Alvarez, uh, because, no. But for yeah. Holland, yes. Mm -hmm. Because Holland, yes, it's 60 or 50 million that is publicized, but guarantee yeah. people at home. It's more than 100 million to bring Holland to City. That was a big yeah. transfer with agent fees, contract fees, Everything fees. <laughs> Everything yeah. fees. So I think how I think he had expectations though to win a Champions okay. League this season. And when <sighs> Ruben Dias come back comes back and all this, we still like I'm mentioning Alvarez too. Mentioning Alvarez yep. too. Julian Alvarez won a Copa America, has won an FA yeah. Cup, a Premier League, a World Cup, a Champions League, a Libertadores, and he's only 23. This is complete at football. This is co different continents, man. That is mad yep. what Alvarez is doing. Absolutely mad. So people, leave a comment and a like if you want to see more Ballon d'Or talk and Man City talk in the future.